how are you feeling leading up to the event about how the horse was, you know, progressing, how, um, what your chances were at Hippogirity? Yeah, well, we knew he was a good horse. Like, we knew we had something a little bit special. Um, Todd doesn't say too much, and we didn't talk to him a lot through the horse's training. Uh, but the few times that we did see him, he, he said that he thought he was very special. Um, he was just, though, a bit behind some of the other, a bit greener, because um, he was born in January, so he was a late baby for us. Um, so he was a bit more immature and younger than a lot of the other Futurity horses. And so he felt he just had a little bit more growing up to do. He was a bit like a bit of a teenage kid, as he would describe him. So we knew he was good, but we didn't know, um, you know, whether he was that, you know, whether he could just really step up to this. Like we knew he'd be good later on and we knew his ability, but whether his mind was going to be ready to, to mature because he was just a bit of a, a big kid, really. Mm. Through, through the rounds, he just got better. Mm. Like he started on a just a 43, the cows were a little dull and didn't have the chance to do anything special. And then the second um, second round, he ran second in the round by half a point. He ran a 46 and um, the first cow scared, scared is pretty bad, but the next two were just unreal. And then he ended up one point off top aggregate. So went to get a score that high in the aggregate, we thought, well, he has a bit of a shot. Once yeah, it comes then, to we final. were confident then. We? I mean, not confident, but we, 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 we didn't expect was, to win. Yeah. We, we were sort of hoping for a top five finish, um, off, especially after how he'd, how he'd shown. And if he got better in the final, like not many horses can get better every round. So yeah. it, was, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah.